let us start with the uh, LP3 experiment uh, of machine learning as per the SPPU uh, syllabus. So this is the experiment number one which we will discuss today which is to predict the price of Uber ride. The Uber ride price depends upon which what is the pickup point and where is the drop off location. So distance between pickup point and drop off point will decide your price. So the same thing we will find a relation between the distance and price and then we will predict the price of the Uber ride. So for that uh, task given are pre-processing of the data set because there may be certain attributes which are not related with this relation. Then we have to identify the outliers, check the correlation between the distance and price and then we will implement with today we will implement with linear regression and then we will evaluate that model with uh, matrix slice R2 and RMSE and our data set is available on Kaggle with this link. So with this we will start the experiment. So for that we will use uh, Colab for uh, pa Python compiler but you can use your local Python also. So basically how uh, Uber decides the uh, distance on the earth. So that is an important point. So here uh, we will use Haversine formula for finding the uh, distance. Actually it is Haversine is used for finding the length of the arc on a sphere. So earth is uh, not a perfect sphere but uh, spherical in shape. So same formula can be utilized for uh, finding the distance. So what is required for Haversen formula is uh, uh, this latitude point 1 and 2 that is termed as alpha 1 alpha 2 and a longitude point which are decided as L1 L2. So that can be used for finding the distance. A latitude point of point 1, starting point, end point and a longitude of that point of start and end. Based on that, Haversons find the distance using this formula. That is a D is equal to twice of R. R is a earth radius arc sign and for uh, longitude and latitude this formula based on that this formula is used. So we will try to implement this formula for finding the distance uh, of the Uber ride because we know the uh, longitude point latitude point in that uh, data set from that we will find the distance and then we will find a re relation between a distance and price. And that is what we will do. So we have to implement the Haversen formula. So let's first see the what is the uh, data set. So this is the Uber data set provided by the Kaggle. <coughs> So data set contains uh, a, a unique key per trip. Okay, so that is the per trip uh, key. So this is the uh, key for the tuple in the database. Then the fair amount, then pickup date. But the date is not important for today's relation. And then this is the passenger count. 
that is also included in the database but that is also we are not interested we are interested in pick up longitude latitude and drop off longitude and latitude so using these four attributes we can find distance of right and the other point that is discussed here is the price so we will find the relation between these two so you can download this from uh, Kaggle data set and this is the obhcsv.csv file that you can download save it on your hard disk and then you can use it in google colab so first of all um, what you have to do is you have to um, import all the basic uh, libraries like numpy pandas uh, matplotlib for plotting the graph like that then you do uploading of the file using this command so looking to this number of bytes probably it will take three to four minutes based on your network speed then you can take this file into the uber into the colab by means of import io and this is our file name in the colab so first of all see the shape of the database so it is almost 2 lakh entries with uh, 9 attributes so which are those 9 attributes you can check by means of df.head means check the first five um, rows of the database so it is a key of that entry unique key then a fair amount then pick up date pick up long uh, pick up date and time then longitude latitude of pick up and drop off and passenger count so these are the attributes uh, provided by the Uber, uh, by the Kaggle in Uber CSV. So if you check the information about what is the type and what is the name of the column. So this is the type of the data which is stored into this. Now we will do the pre-processing by finding how many null rows are there. So here it shows that there are almost one row with uh, missing long, uh, longitude and latitude of drop off so we cannot take it for a calculation so we will use drop null and then again we will check so you will find that now there is no null value into the database so that is our uh, pre-processing of the data set the next one here we have to set up a function which will find the distance based on haver sign formula which takes uh, two values longitude of um, pick up and drop and latitude of pick up and drop so this formula if you check here here it is distance in kilometer is based on the earth radius twice of r into arc sine of square root of difference of latitude and difference of longitude so that formula is we are implemented here and we return a distance in kilometer so now it is um, straightforward that we will get a distance column and price column which we will try to relate so then we have uh, created a one more column called as distance using haver sign for all the entries into the table so if you check the now header it is um, all the column previous column with a distance column at the end 
so that is what we are going to so that is what we are going to connect for the assignment so here is our fair amount and here is our distance so now we will use only these two columns for finding the real linear regression or relation between a distance and fair amount so I hope you can understand now it is now clear that we have got two columns which has got a relation between these remaining columns we are not interested so during the next pre-processing we will drop all these columns along with the key so that we will get just two columns on which we can um, apply the linear regression so if you put a scatter plot of a distance versus pair amount you will find that there is no relation like a linear relation this is uh, happening because uh, many of the entries are not uh, outside or outliers and therefore they are not in not in a linear regression formula so what we'll do we'll drop the columns or entries um, where, where fair amount is greater than 100 and distance is less than 1 similarly we will drop the columns where distance is greater than 100 so the distance is greater than 100 and fair amount is less than 100 so that is absurd so such a uh, rows we will delete and if you check the final count after dropping it is just not 2 lakhs it is less than 1 lakh around 1 lakh 93,000 so those many rows are within a limit of our um, those are not avoiding the outliers so if you put another pl scatter plot now you will find they are now spread over a fair amount of uh, where amount between 0 to 200 and distance is about 50 kilometers so around that we will find we can find a linear regression or the graph shows that there may exist a linear regression between distance and fair amount linear relation between distance and fair amount so now what we have done we have put only two columns which we are interested remaining we are dropped so so fair and a distance these are two columns we are interested so if you see the um, plot you will find that majority of the density of fair is around 50 50 rupees you can say or 50 dollar whatever they have taken units now what I have done is I have taken two variables one is independent variable fair and dependent variable a distance then those are in different range or different units so we have applied a standard scalar to bring x and y values into standard scale now both we can now apply the uh, regression on that so the next of our step is to split that data set of around 190,000 into training and testing so we have taken test sizes 80% uh, training and 20% testing now we will select one linear regression model and we will try to fit 
forward trading data and once the model is trained we will find the predicted values so we have got a predicted values on testing so we will check how much error it gives with the testing test uh, actual values of test and predicted values of tests so if you plot mean absolute error mean square error root mean square error these are the values we have found out of the errors so you will find that root mean square value is almost 44 percent so model is not that much accurate and why this is happening is if you check there its plot you will find that the majority values are out uh, are far distance from the regression line selected for the model so that is the model we have designed so we can increase the accuracy by taking the different training set and we can find the more accurate model or we can change the linear regression model that is what we can do and that is what is expected in this experiment so i hope you can understand the first experiment of linear regression how to find distance and all other things so we'll stop here